The effects stack on TV Paint allows for a lot of really sophisticated animation effects. So how do we even apply an effect to a layer? This tutorial will show you how to apply effects. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do. I'm still to this day discovering stuff to do three years into using the program. But let's just start off with something simple. So come up here to effects and then you have these main options, blur, color, distortion, keying, motion, and so on. So let's just go to color and say we wanna change the color of this jellyfish. Go to color adjust. And now we have a bunch of options to play with. Brightness, contrast, the color hue, so let's say we want to do something kind of psychedelic with this and have the color of the jellyfish change through all the hues. What we'll do is come up here and create key. And that's down here on the timeline, there's a plus sign. This means we've made a key. And then we'll go to the end of the sequence and add the last key and we're gonna do a rotation on this color hue so we'll just put two we'll see what this looks like so now we've created the keys for this effect it's kind of silly um, but to apply the effect, all you'd have to do is select all the frames and then you click apply effect stack. But first, let's say you wanna add some more effects to this sequence. Come up to effects and click multiple effects. So now let's add blur. And as you see, the blur is now with the color adjust on the effect stack. So we'll create a key for the blur, and we can control how much blur we want to have. You could even do zero blur for the first key, and then at the very end of the sequence, put it on, say, 25 blur. And now the jellyfish will progressively get more blurry. It's not really fitting for this sequence, but if you were zooming out from a background, then maybe you want to have the blur of the foreground increase as the distance from the background changes with the foreground. You can key the blur effects to create depth as you're moving into a scene. So that's just how you add effects. As I said, there's a lot of effects you can do. The next tutorial I'll show how to do camera movements and parallax scrolling. Uh, but all of the effects, all you have to know is to add the keyframes and then you can change the parameters of the effect. And then select all the images on the timeline that you want to apply it to and you can only apply effects one layer at a time. So keep that in mind if you wanted to apply the same set of effects to another layer down here. 